Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today we're creating ink cards with the January 2024 card kit called Don't Flurry, Be Happy. Not only are we creating eight cards today, but I'm using most of the components from the kit for these cards. I love showcasing how you can get the most from your card kit each month. We're going to start by taking the corn flower and lavender cardstock included in the kit, and we're trimming them down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I wanna start with this bigger panel, even though we will be trimming them down to fit our card bases a little later on. Next, I'm taking the Cheery Snowflakes embossing folder included in the kit, and we are going to run those through our die cutting machine. I use a Spellbinders Platinum, and what I like to do is use the platform, the embossing folder with the cardstock or paper inside, and then I use the packaging from the embossing folder as a shim to get a really good embossed result. Next, I've got my Simon Says Stamp glass mat here. And actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and stamp our greetings. So I've also taken the white cardstock included in the kit, plus a little bit more that I have on hand from my stash. You could also just use the white card base if you want to. And using the Don't Flurry Be Happy stamp set also included in the kit, I'm going to change up how much room I leave of the white showing, I guess I wanna say, depending on the sentiment I'm using. So for this card, I am stamping the sentiment, your second to snow, went, snow one, on two of my white backgrounds using the clear embossing ink also included in the kit. I love starting off a new year with a brand new embossing ink pad. Then I'm taking the Distress Glaze embossing powder also included. You do get a different color. Um, it's a random or the, the color will vary, I suppose, in each kit. I have chipped sapphire. Any color is going to coordinate, that you get will coordinate with the supplies in the kit. I'm going to use that on all of my backgrounds. So I sprinkled on the embossing powder. I'm gonna do this for two per sentiment. So instead of getting my heat tool out, I'm going to stamp both, add the embossing glaze to both, then heat set them. I will do this for all of my backgrounds. And again, there's going to be two per sentiment and there'll be a blue or a lavender background for each sentiment. I hope that makes sense. We'll end up with eight cards total. I figured I might as well, while I have all the supplies out, so now just go ahead I am going to go ahead and create cards. Another set. This one is gonna require kind of a two-part process because I'm gonna combine Snow Much and Thanks, and I want to emboss each section before I move on to the next. So we're going to stamp and apply the Distress Glaze to both backgrounds, and then we will stamp Thanks, and again, apply the Distress Glaze, and then Heat Set. So I'm heat setting in between each I should also mention. That way I'm not accidentally picking up some of the embossing powder before I move on. I found this worked really well to mass produce and I'm gonna continue doing this for all eight cards. The other sentiments that I will be using is there's snow one like you and don't flurry, be happy. Once that's done, and before I apply the ink to the embossed backgrounds, I want to trim up my backgrounds. And I decided it would be easiest to work on these card set by card set. So each background or each sentiment that matches, I'm going to just trim those down, ink the backgrounds before I move on to the next set. And this is because each one is going to vary a little bit. I wanna leave as much of the embossed background as possible. So now I've got my cornflower and lavender cardstock backgrounds and we are going to start applying ink to really make the beautiful embossing pop. 
For the blue background, I am going to be applying Twilight and Galaxy Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks. For the lavender backgrounds, we're using Violet and Iris Positively Saturated Inks. I first went around the perimeter of the background lightly with my lighter or mid-tone color in that color trio. I'm only using the two darker colors in each color trio. And then I'm going around the edges with the darker color. The color will mute just a little bit and won't be quite as blotchy once the ink does dry. Let's go ahead and do this for the lavender background. Look at how rich and beautiful the backgrounds become with the application of just a little bit of ink. I love starting with a colorful cardstock base and layering that color on top for beautiful results. Now, once we have this done, I want to add some distressing to these backgrounds. And just to kind of add to that snowy, wonderful feel. I'm taking Frozen Fog Distress Mica Stain and also some white gouache and splattering or spattering that over these backgrounds and allowing it to dry before I apply it to the background. This is going to give us a shimmer first, which adds to that frozen snowflake feeling. And I like to add a little bit, maybe a spritz or two of water to my gouache to help it move a little bit better. And then a small paintbrush is my, pre my preference for this. And we're just going to make some nice white snow all over these backgrounds. This is going to be the same process for every background Now I'll set these aside while I work on inking some of the others. So pretty. While all of that ink was drying, which it doesn't take long, I went ahead and die cut snowflakes for all of my cards using the specialty cardstock included. You're getting a A2 size sheet of holographic cardstock as well as a full sheet of the matte silver cardstock. I die cut snowflakes from a variety of these to use to help adorn the beautiful embossed background once it's adhered to my card base. I've also used the matte silver cardstock to die cut a scallop stitch border that I'm placing underneath the edge of my embossed background closest to the greeting. I left each of these a little bit longer and I can trim them up when I have everything adhered to the A2 sized background. Now I will have to trim my panel just a little bit. It's a little too long. I like when they're a little longer, but I will show you when I cut them a little too short. That actually works out as well. And that will be on a couple of the other cards here in a bit. Look how pretty these look. I think they're beautiful just like this, but with the addition of these holographic snowflakes, they are even prettier. Now, if you're going to make as many cards as I did in this video, you might want to pick up some additional holographic cardstock if you don't already have some in your stash. I used up all of the A2 sized cardstock included in the kit and then just grabbed a scrap that I had in my scrap bin that I had used previously for some other projects. I love this wonderful Harmony Snowflakes die set included in the kit. They're beautiful detailed snowflakes. If you're like me and they may stick a little bit depending on what you're die cutting and the holographic cardstock might stick in your die a little bit, a piercing tool of some sort is so handy. Then I'm going to place those snowflakes right on the background and we will adorn these with some of the amazing new Splash Drops stickers. These are all clear and iridescent or kind of that opalescent look. I love these. They are going to get used a ton in my craft room. I can see using them all of the time. For the two smaller snowflakes, we're placing a bigger drop in the center and really a tool of some sort is going to be helpful. They are sticky, but if you want to make sure they stay put, I love using a little dab of glue. 
On the larger snowflake, we're gonna go around and we're adding the smallest size of splash drops on the outer points of my snowflake, all the way around. Now in the center of this snowflake, I'm gonna grab some white hearts. These are some Tic Tac Jelly Hearts from Trinity Stamps that are from my stash, and I'm gonna glue one of those in the center of the large snowflake. We'll also include some of the kind of the opalescent looking snowflakes out um, in the background for a little additional fun. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Now I love to take these long shears from Tim Holtz and just snip off anything along the edge. And then I did realize I probably should have done that first. I had to move that one drop. So I'll keep that in mind for future cards. Oh my goodness, look at that shimmer and shine. So beautiful. We are going to continue the same process for all of the cards. Each one will be trimmed down to a different width, depending on the sentiments on the background. We're going to do the same process of applying either the violet and iris or twilight and galaxy inks to each panel adding our frozen fog distress mica stain and white gouache and then we'll add that scallop stitch border die cut from the matte silver cardstock and the snowflakes die cut from the holographic cardstock and then we'll add them to each of the backgrounds just like we did for those first two cards. Let's take a look at all eight cards finished. I love having a set of cards ready to go right here at the new year, perfect for any type of occasion. Thank yous, birthdays, just because, and I love the snowy wintry feel of each. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of eight cards featuring the January 2024 card kit. The supplies I use are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube for your convenience. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.